way if you saw the post on, on Facebook, you can uh, you can definitely share it. Yeah, yeah, it's good advice forever. He could have pushed his pawn when you would remove that one. We should check. Uh, I'm not sure he had the chance. So we play against Contora, and he's a really bad matchup for me because he's playing a thing uh, with knight c3, knight f3, e3, b3, and he just totally dominates me. It's it's just like uh, just beat me last time, like six nil. I made a mistake like that in the end game, says Karam. So yeah, it's good because uh, I could teach you something really, really worthy. Yeah, it's important to know it. Uh, this is not my position. Yeah, you can, you can feel it. Let's push the pawn on e4 and uh, let's try to bring the piece toward the king because I will be I will feel more like it. Is Queen's Gambit a beginner opening? Uh, well, you can play it as a beginner, of course. You can play it as a confident player also. I'm not sure there's really an opening for beginner. I mean, like to say it's this is for beginner. I mean, all the openings are playable. Of course, I would not recommend the dragon to a beginner, but so so it will bring his knight to f one. Can I play knight h four? Can you play knight h four? Not really sure what's happening here. Uh, yeah, that's right, Rep Crush Cover, but all the openings uh, are pretty equal if there are if both players are good, so it is not really relevant. I don't really understand what he's doing. Uh, Okay, uh, god damn. Let's play knight to g4. The knight to g4. It's threatening. It's really threatening here for, 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 for black. Scandinavian is good. Okay, I answer your question after the game because now it's really interesting. Look, all those pieces looking toward the king, and now the the, the, the knight has moved from d to c4. And in my book, it's dangerous. Because I think it's knight d6. I just play queen g5. Because uh, he's bad on time, and now I really want to beat him. He, he just really beat me badly last time we played, and I really want to give him a test of his own medicine. Uh, and his time is bad, and Queen G5 is really nasty because uh, just bringing more pressure. I think he's losing on time anyway. Queen G6. So maybe we play knight e8 with the idea of playing knight f6. But I will play bishop f5 then. So if it goes uh, knight e8, I play bishop f5. To be sure I keep my queen. To be sure I keep my queen, dude. And this is the thing he didn't see. Clinical. What a game.
Because uh, so knight f3 looks strong, a lot of move looks strong, and yeah, knight f3 looks strong as well. Maybe, but this one, and look at that, it's the thing I calculated. If I play like any move now, he plays knight f6, I have to take, and he takes back. And it's good for him. But after bishop f5, by the way, it was working in all those kind of variations. I attack the knight, I attack this knight, and I thread the checkmate. And uh, the only way I think can defend it is by playing like g3. But at least I can take, you move your queen to somewhere. I check you, uh, you move it there, and I take your, uh, your knight. And so I back my material, and I still have a strong, strong, strong attack uh, going. So other questions, uh, scans, okay, I don't think it offers any particular advantage. Uh, it depends, if you play good, it could be really tricky. Yes, we can load Queen Gambit, treat really as good as a beginner, but if, I, if you face opponent that knows, it would beat you with stuff like knowing the end game is good. Uh, okay. Let's play another game. This one was really good. Uh, yeah, it's just it got all the opening I don't know. It got all the opening I don't know. It's like the guy playing the opening, I just don't know. And he has a lot of them. And it's hard to play him. Mm, it's hard to play a guy which dominates you from the real start. Because all the position he plays are position I'm bad at. And as he's a GM, he plays everything pretty good. So, can I play Queen F2? Can I play Queen F2? Hello, logically. Because I attack the pawn. And if he plays Bishop D8, to protect it. To protect it. Uh, well, your Bishop is on D8 then. It's not not good square. And Knight is 7 Let me push then F5. Because then if when you take the, the square on d5, it's pretty weak. Uh, can I play then? Knight to d4. I want to watch the pawn on e6. Put him on tilt. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to put him on tilt. The bishop d4. Uh, why is a good move? Uh, okay, let's take. And maybe queen d4. Anyone check to see if this is on your account? Uh, he's a GM and I know him logically. He's a strong player. So let's take. This was my idea. Take and push e5. This e5 move was my idea from the real start. Now rook e1. So now trying to win back the pawn. And now his pawn structure is bad. Uh, I will come back on this e5 move later. Hello to Jubka. Mm. So he's making a little trick so that if I take, he takes back with the pawn. If I take on e5, he take on c3, I take, take. Maybe I win another pawn. And if I play knight e4, let me take on e5. If so I play knight e4, you would play knight f4, and uh, I, I feel on, in blitz it's not really practical. So I'm sure he will take on f1. No, he plays knight e4 anyway. So I play bishop e4, protecting my pawn, and the e2 square is covered by my rook, uh, by my knight. Yeah, it, it's real GM. It's it's real GM. Uh, 
Okay, so let's play b3 to protect the pawn and keep the pressure. So now we want bishop b7 and rook c5. What what a game! Three high level, and I'm really glad I'm getting. So knight d5. Now that the pawn is on b3, ridiculous. Uh, okay, let me take on f8. Take. Oh, he takes with the king. Anyway, so far so good. Take and rook e6. Okay. Uh, if I take on a6, it will be a draw. If I take, take. Take on a6. Okay, this is uh, this should be a draw. Yeah, it's a draw. Wow, what a nice defense! And that's that's that's, that's you see that's where is the difference between when you play a GM and when you play uh, a common like international master or fide master. Okay, queen d4, and here the idea was really nice because the idea was after queen f5. And here, this end game seems pretty good for black because they will come back with the knight. And or if I play bishop c4, maybe they push d5. So they have a nice end game. But here, e5, a total breaker. And now going for the pawn on e5. So this was a great idea. Knight d5. Good move. He wants knight f4. So I better take. He plays knight f4. Oh, again, a good move. Because if I play g3, I'm checkmated. Checkmate. So bishop e4. Now he plays rook b8. Again, a good move. Yes, my pawn is on g2. Because uh, when I take, he takes. And if I play rook e4, he will always have the, the b2 pawn at the end. So b3. Then he went bishop takes. So if I take with the knight, he plays knight e2. And then checkmate. So I have to take with the rook and now knight d5. So now the knight is on the straight. So maybe I have to keep the knight. But if I take, he takes with the king and I keep the knight. Like uh, wherever I put it, then the king is into play. Okay, and probably I had to play like uh, maybe rook c4 and then bring the knight. But hey, it's, it's tricky and the king is good now. So j just to show you. Uh, how good GM are uh, and, and how their defensive skill are, are developed. Because if you play this against a player like right, 24, 25, you win the game. And here we have, uh, who is it? Okay, it's Boris Afro, uh, which been uh, writing, by the way, an excellent book about the, um, the Catalan. And he's an excellent player and, and you can really feel it. So, okay, let's have a bit of tea. How many people came to watch this one? Yeah, I, I hope I really explained good what, what happened in this game and I really went uh, into details because this is against uh, against uh, high level, high level chess by uh, Contrera. Okay, so coming back. that you could see the, the level of the player we're playing with. This is no joke. This is no joke, guys. This is real, real, real strong chess grandmaster. Very high level of culture. And now he plays this queen b3. He, he really sees that I'm a bit sloppy in the opening and he tries to put pressure from the real start. And again, this is a really good decision. And this is also the GM, GM level, recognizing the weaknesses of your opponent and uh, using it from the restart. 
building pressure. So I'm trying to play a Cambridge Spring, Cambridge Spring like now. But he has a queen on b3 and I think it's misplaced. Just trying to show that I'm also not Mr. Nobody. Thank you, forever. Uh, it's it, it's really like free coaching, I would say. A lot of value in watching this stream. Very high value, it's like printing money. Can I take the pawn, you take with the bishop? Okay, bishop b4, let me bring this bishop. Uh, now let me bring the knight. After c5, I want to play knight a4. And after queen takes a4, queen takes a4, and this knight is uh, is pinned. And thank you guys for the support. Let me take stuff. Uh, let me take if I take it. Let me play. Let me bring this knight with d5. So he takes, he has to take the knight, and I take it back with my pawn, my e pawn, and then my bishop is free. No. Okay, let me. Oh, and I cannot win the pawn. God damn. If I play knight take, he plays a3. If I play bishop takes. Oh my god. And after this opening, I'm just worse. You should talk to the Russian mint. Maybe they will start printing for you. Hello, seven. I didn't understand what you mean. Okay, I have 50 seconds left, and here we are just going going to lose. So I play h6 because he, he would be winning by e5, bishop h7. So, okay, coming back with the knight, queen a3, trying to exchange the queens. And this is a tricky move. Again, what a high level by this GM. He really plays 100% now. So it's hard. Uh, no excuse, but... Uh, I'm streaming in the same time and playing in such a strong GM. Uh, it's really not an easy task. It's already nice. We had uh, we, we really play to high standards. Hello, Dunia, eighty nine. B uh, five. Don't care. B three. Uh, okay, A five. Oh God, he tries to bring the bishop to checkmate me. So I have to play f5. Uh, okay, six. God damn. Twenty-eight seconds left. Uh, you can see the message, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, bishop d8. So that I can read on on the left of your screen here. Uh, Trying to fight till the bitter end. I always try to fight till the bitter end because you still have a chance. Okay, we'll take with the knight. I will take with the rook. Uh, okay, I will put my knight there. Because you still have a chance. 
Look, I'm still playing already 10, 15 moves with really bad position and I'm still in it. Until you are in it, you have a chance to checkmate the dude. Okay, it's uh, it's not working, but uh, I, I'm giving some checks now. Got it's one check, and now can I get the draw? You should be kidding me! It's a draw. It's a draw. Against a GM who is this position. Wow! Never give up. Never give up. The tree, really what it means. Let's look at that. Uh, hello to Amadan, but look at that. He's really playing 100%, and look at this position. It's so tricky. So tricky. He's like really good, but somehow the rooks come to g6. The queen is coming from the side. h4, good move. Knight d3, like, like little threat. The queen to c3, don't really know why, but okay, I just want to, uh, to, to replace my queen. The one pulls the knight to e5. Looking ready to add f, f3. Okay, come on, giving the knight. Just just trying to fish something. The rook can come to a5 any point. And look at this at this bishop as well. e7, and he's in the bag. Queen g4, rook, H, rook g5, straddling two checkmates. Pawn takes the only move, and we have the draw. Wow. Yes, I do remember ancient breeding, of course. Good evening. Good evening to Barber1. So really a nice lesson about never for, n never resign, no matter what happens. Hello to Chris Jenkins. And again, I, I just want to underline that uh, just getting out of this one against uh, against a player with a uh, with rating of, of about 2600s in real life, a uh, good player. So j just to show you and, and he got away from a hard ending end game on the last game. So just to show you how tough you should be and really to fight against such players. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, Barber. Thank you. Yeah, it was really three good games against uh, the Israeli guns master, really. Could be a GM, yeah, babe, probably. If I would have followed the path of playing chess professionally, I would probably get a GM name next to my uh, to my uh, nickname. Hello, Switch. Uh, okay, so we will try to have new players, but those three games really good. So an um, interesting, interesting start. It was really tricky uh, here at some point. Could have taken maybe with the bishop. Uh, with the idea to take this bishop and, and 